greetings to all my youtube viewers and i thank each and every one sincerely for supporting me for this physics for us youtube channel today's topic is going to be physics behind rainfall since most of the countries are experiencing winter and rainfall i would like to explain the simple physics behind the rainfall before encountering with the physics behind this rainfall concept let me introduce you about the term called energy energy was initially coined by the great physicist thomas young who had explained this energy in terms of his light experiments but this word did not gain much popularity in the 18th century later in 1818 james prescott jules he explained the same energy through his different machinery like mechanical energy friction energy heat energy so people started understanding and this word uh, energy gained so much popularity because of his experiments and demonstration later the energy the law of conservation of energy which we are all aware of it was framed by julian robert mayer in 1842 who said that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed so this is a very famous law of conservation of energy which we all know energy can neither be created nor be destroyed it could transformed from one form to another form so there comes the keyword energy transformation the rainfall also is occurring because of the energy transformations so how i can explain the physics concept behind rainfall is so we have a potential energy and a kinetic energy which is changing its form from one form to another form that gives us this beautiful rainfall so we all know the very first foremost energy known to mankind was fire or the solar energy and then later on with that we evolved and evolved and evolved and now we know the heat energy light energy sound energy mechanical energy friction energy and what not but now the thanks to the ancient i will say human mankind because now we have again come up to landed up to a level where we are understanding the solar energy consumption so now mankind is actually using and utilizing many types of techniques to use the solar energy into our daily lives so why i am talking about the solar energy you might be like wondering because for the rainfall also the source of energy the main source of energy is the solar and second thing is the water reservoirs or the water the sea water which is naturally there the sea water or the water in the oceans and lakes we all know in the summer time they get evaporated and the evaporated water droplets will form as a cloud the cloud on condensation will be again we know what is a condensation process also on condensation they come to the ground in the form of a rainfall this is a simple concept how energy transformation is happening here this is what what we have to understand the water in the ground level will have a potential energy potential energy means energy possessed by virtue of its position and kinetic energy means energy possessed by virtue of its motion so when i'm sitting this is my potential energy when i start running the next second that is my kinetic energy similarly so now we know the difference between potential energy and kinetic energy and one more thing you should understand is that there is always a movement from a higher potential region to a lower potential region so we say electricity means it can flow the flow of electrons could be only between the higher potential region to a lower potential region water flow is again from a higher potential region to a lower potential region for example water falls there is gravity but still there is going to be a higher potential region and there is going to be a lower potential region there is always movement of molecules any kind of molecules between them so with this concept i will tell you about the rainfall the water in the ocean it gets dried in the summer we say what actually happens is that is the ground potential energy it is getting transformed it is getting transformed to a kinetic energy the water molecules are evaporated it reaches the troposphere where it is stored in the form of a cloud clouds are all weightless they are all weightless uh, dust particles which can be only floating when there is more and more number of accumulation of water droplets that is traveling from the ground potential energy region in the form of a kinetic energy they keep traveling upwards through the troposphere and they strand they are getting stranded as clouds there these clouds become so heavy once it's becoming heavy and the temperature is is increasing beyond the actual temperature because we always say the temperature inside the water droplets are going to be heavy than the cloud so once there is a temperature difference and the potential difference there in the cloud is going to be higher than the potential energy on the ground this potential difference enables the water droplets 
to just break apart from the cloud and they just come down downpour as rainfall the weightless clouds on acquiring the weight acquiring the mass there is again a kinetic energy kind of happening here which is now down stranded in the form of a rainfall so potential energy in the ground is transformed to kinetic energy once again it is stored as a potential energy in the cloud and once again it gains the kinetic energy there and it comes down and it is getting stored as a potential energy this is a cyclic process so rainfall energy physics we can understand how how much connectivity it has my next diagrams will actually explain the phenomena behind this in 2015 there is a, a researcher by name a joseph from nigeria he had published a research paper on this physics for rainfall which is a very interesting concept so as i always say physics is manifesting into nature in different phenomena every phenomena occurring on earth or happening there is always a physics behind it thank you thank you so much viewers for watching this video and kindly subscribe to my youtube channel kindly share to your friends and the network thank you